really hard to see. There we go. This will have to do, it's a bit of an angle, but... Right, I couldn't get it better later on. Maybe do some shit. Oh, that looks more of an angle, doesn't it? Right, I'm going to finish this painting off. It's just going to have to do at that angle for now. I'll repeat the video later. This is just pretty much the test. Right, hey. So I'm not really liking how flat this water is looking, really. So I'm going to go around with that a bit. And uh, I'm not really professing to be. Um, like a master royal painter or anything. No idea. I'm just pretty much kind of. I've done a few now, but I'm kind of in my early days. But I just thought, well, probably a bit more encouraging to to stream something where I'm kind of at more the beginning point, really. Stream something where I'm more at the beginning point and uh, just kind of, it's just going to be more, relatable in a sense, like if you're a beginner, you can see a beginner kind of grow and I kind of wanted to thought, I thought well, we'd be interested to show kind of like a journey growing really. Stuff I learn, some stuff that I figure out on my own. I mean, I don't really, I don't think you can just watch people on YouTube and get good at something. You just have to keep doing it. Really, that's that's the main thing. Just keep painting, and uh, I want to encourage the passion rather than the techniques. Um, but I might share any if anybody wants to know. So I'll just sit and enjoy. Painting. Uh, I want to try and get some lighter shades of maybe some lighter shades of blue here. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's try that. I don't like where that's gone already. That one. We'll get that on first. That one. Okay. Don't like that. I don't know if this is a camera I want it actually. That's just. Oh, it's okay though. It'll be neat. Just shove it in. You know, if you end up putting a colour in, I guess it's going to make it interesting later on, but I just make so many mistakes. I mean, I know Bob Ross says you don't make mistakes, you make happy accidents, but I think Bob would, would make an exception. I probably should stop now. Okay. Let's get it, because I wanted some some sort of pinks going on here, really, so I just kind of wanted to reflect that kind of pinkiness in the sky. That's what I really wanted to to do, because sometimes you can see that. Like you can see it in uh, in real life, really. You can see pink skies. At least I've seen a few. Not that pink, but there's a little bit of pink in there, and I just wanted to, to put it in, really, because I uh, just wanted to see how far I could stretch the colours. Let's, let's see if this goes well and uh, an idea is I'm trying to make the wave look a bit more transparent by showing the light coming through it uh, I guess uh, something like that it, usually this would be green this would be green here but yeah I wonder if anybody's uh, if this is even working actually Is this live? 
Oh, yeah, it's live. There's just nobody watching. <laughs> Can't expect anybody to watch just yet. I'm just, it's there, you know, in case anybody wants to watch. And I'm just going to ramble on anyway, because I'm quite enjoying hearing the sound of my own voice at least. So, so why not? Encouraging me, it's helping me uh, think a little bit. Uh, but yeah, let's see how it goes with this pink. Oh, it's quite the colour I wanted. And uh, I probably should be taking more steps back as well. I look at this, but um, I guess uh, I think I'll just introduce darks back into there. That's very grey. That I don't know why I've got. The water so grey, it's just this is yeah, this looks like I've just completely ruined it. But I've done this so many times, I'm not worried really. I've ruined potentially ruined paintings a lot before, and you can always get them back to, to what they will look like. And yeah, it's worth taking that risk, really. Otherwise, you're just not gonna ever take risks, you're just gonna be worried about it. Making mistakes all the time, and it's no good really. Uh, right, so I might introduce some some darks back in here, sort of, to kind of push the, the, these back a little bit. Try and cause I just kind of want it to come on the the light to hit the corner of this way over here, where it's sort of showing it. I don't really want it too much more in that and even this is it's dark but it's probably a bit too blue doesn't really reflect what's going on in the sky so maybe i'll add some uh, some other colors to it but for now i'll just just get it dark and then i can kind of like i like to i like to mix the colors on the palette I, that's probably not what you should be doing really but um I find it, I enjoy doing it that way really, I kind of like painting one colour on and then putting another colour on top, that's one of the cool things you can do with oils, I find anyway, that's like one of the cool little perks, so why not use it? Oh shit, I think I've gone too dark here, I have gone too dark, I've, 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 I've bought, we need to abort, we've done it too dark, oh dear. Yeah, so at least you can you can watch a guy ruin his paintings on the internet. But I think we should be probably going dark. Probably this dark, it is pretty late at night. It would give it that very cool contrast, but I just don't know if that is... Uh, I don't think I want it that dark, to be honest. It's a little too much. But not to worry, we can uh, slot more paint on. Just slop it on. Just love slopping paint on me. It's uh, it's kind of a joy. I kind of like just smashing it on and <laughs> getting myself into these predicaments with it. And uh, quite enjoyable. It's. Uh, I don't care, you know, I just, if you care too much about what it's going to, you know, that it's not, you know, it, it doesn't look like, say if you're watching Bob Ross and you're paying along with him and you, you just care that it doesn't, you know, you're more concerned that yours doesn't look as Bob, good as Bob's, then you're kind of missing out on the fun, really. I mean, he calls it the joy of painting for a reason, it's not the, the pride of painting, you know. Joy of painting. You want to enjoy it. Oh god, but well, seriously, you know, this might be an exception. I fuck this up. <sighs> you do think that, so you know you should you, I'll be transparent, I'm not. I've got a long way to go and you know I've I make mistakes like pretty much every thingy and uh you learn from those mistakes, you uh, 
you can probably redeem them as well. Like, um, you can keep swapping pain on and on and on for a while before the paints become kind of a problem to paint over. And I tend to find with water, it's it's got a bit more leniency. But anything with a bit of definition, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be hard, really. Let's see if we can get this effect that, that I want. It's just. really difficult. I've just kind of lost the form here. And there was a form going on with my waves and it's kind of, uh, it's not really, uh, it's not really showing there. It's, it just looks weird. I might have to take a step back in a sec and just really have a look at it. I don't want to deflect that thing here. Maybe I should have like a different colour coming towards here, like more of like an orangey. Maybe the green would be there and it'd be more kind of towards that. I don't know exactly. But I'll probably try some stuff out. Probably uh, arrange the colours a bit differently. But it's a bit ambitious, really. This is a bit kind of uncharted territories, really. And uh, I like to do that, I like to go in uncharted territories and, uh, and play around in them, really. Because if you're just doing the same thing over and over, it gets boring. I mean, this isn't actually, I say that, but the last painting I did was like this one here, and it's very similar in a, in a lot of ways, but it's not really surreal. But you can see I got the water a lot better in this one, I think. But because it was, it's just basically, it's just a very sort of still blue, you get, you know, it's like a bright day out, it's not got the kind of drama that's going on here, it's, yeah, so, you know, it's a bit more of a challenge to try and reflect these colours, trying to, trying to, uh, you know, just make it all crazy really, and, uh, but, yeah, it's probably a little too crazy at the minute. Shall try. Right, okay. We don't, we don't want too much. I'm going to get some uh, wines in there. Probably that help. Probably create this line here. Kind of crazy area. Maybe some of that colour coming in the back here. Just put the colour in. Introduce the colour a little bit further along in it all. Should uh yeah. Alright, I reckon I can fix this. Let's see. with that because it's it's kind of showing it's kind of not looking the way that I intended really that's I don't even know if I've done this I don't even know what's going on anymore I don't know what's going on but I'm probably going to have to reform a lot of these waves to try and blend them together see what I'm doing really. Well, nobody's watching anyway, so fine. Yeah, would be nice if someone was watching, so I want to enjoy the enjoy the practice. See, this way there looks like it's it's kind of coming from really far down. It's interesting looking, I have to say. It is interesting, but it's not what I want. 
That's the cool thing about painting is you can find out things just by making mistakes. You're like, oh, that created an effect. It looks like a lot of waterfalls kind of piled up. It just doesn't look right, but at the same time, it, it is interesting. Uh, I do quite like it, really. It looks a little weird, and I don't know how I'm going to get it to look a bit normal again. And I think the main thing, I think, actually, I think it's getting some depth back here, back in the sort of slope it, make the slope more gradual, that's what this will do, hopefully, fingers crossed there, eh? that's what we want, well, you know, it's probably, you know, I'll, I'll pick up on the mistakes that I make um, in this stream, my eye thingy, and hopefully, I don't know how much battery I've got left. Oh, we've got uh, one in the chat, but I can't see the chat. Hmm. Let's see. Where are we? Um, oh, let's have a look. Oh, there's one viewer in there. Um, I just need to fat around so I can actually see the oh, bollocks now. Um, ah! Yeah! Yeah. Okay, it's just kind of made me. Do you want to repeat the question? What did you say in chat? If you're still watching. Because, nice painting. Oh, thank you. Just to let you see it, because the camera's kind of against the wall. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've just kind of been rambling to myself and, you know, the first viewer, so thanks for uh, checking it out. Uh, and yeah, I'm just kind of talking about the painting, really. Uh, not, I'm not trying to be the the next Bob Ross or anything. Well, I'm glad you you actually like the painting, but I'm kind of starting out, really. So this is kind of, I've been doing like a bunch of landscape paintings and uh, this one is... It's just kind of like, oh, I thought, hmm, I kind of want to add a bit of a surreal thing in there. I want to kind of venture out from the landscapes a little bit. So right now I'm trying to get these waves to look like waves, really. They don't look that convincing to me, really. They look a little, uh... Hmm. Just trying to think. Let me get that looking right. Hmm. See these colours are too there's too much going on, there's too that needs to fade a little more the colour. So I'll probably get some white. Put some uh, I'm sorry you can't see the colours mixing or anything. I would show you this, but I don't only really have one camera set up and it's uh this is just a kind of uh winging it really. I'm just kinda of winging out a stream. That will probably run out of batteries that I like streaming off a mobile phone. So, um, yeah, this, this looks kind of a bit more faded. Uh, I kind of want it to have that, that kind of bit of a greyish work as it's going in the background, really. Oh you god, like, I'm just seeing the preview now and I'm just covering the whole thing. I need to figure out a way to really set this up. I'm just like, I've got a preview of the stream here and I'm just kind of... Yeah, I'll probably try and stand here like this. So, it's a bit easier to see. And uh, observe myself. Oh. And I'll uh, kind of come in as I uh, it's kind of like the
I'll just spend ages kind of re <laughs> going over and over and over the same things and I just I don't know I think I like doing that I don't know why even though it's kind of like I can see why it would be frustrating but for me I don't know it just feels it's satisfying mixing the colours on the on the canvas like this it's really satisfying to me I'm quite liking the effect there it's still not quite where I want to be with it but it's interesting so it's almost like the way I paint it I just kind of paint something and I'll discover oh that looks a lot of the time you just paint something down and you'll just kind of be like oh that looks interesting and you kind of let the painting dictate it a little bit you kind of like oh that's a cool effect that I've found and you kind of work with that and uh, it's a cool way to paint I really enjoy it it's just let's try and get some more flipping out I think we're going to have to go with a, a thinner brush here I think This will probably be a good practice for me to stream because I'm going to be like, um, uh, it's going to sort of teach me to step back a little bit. It's kind of a bit of a nuisance when I'm trying to mix colours though. Pull that in. to do that kind of foamy thing a lot of people do it so well like a foamy thing on the kind of inside of the wave really I want some foam here let's go with the uh, I've got an arsenal here arsenal of brushes at my disposal and I'm not afraid to use them This little thinner one. See how that treats me. You can go a bit bananas with these fan brushes, and I, to be honest, I'm, I can't, uh, I can overdo it. So I'm just going to be really keep that in mind. Uh, it's not the smallest fan brush, and uh, here where the wave dips that you would see more of a fall, you would see more foam there. So I've probably gone a bit thick here on this top part. And I just kind of forget at the last minute. And to be honest, the waves ain't going to be this white. The foam isn't going to be this white. It's going to be a, probably a little yellowy, really. Yellowy, let's try that. Yellowy, obviously some white. There it looks. Not this. And that is too much. No, I've done too much there. Let's see what it looks like though. Yeah, it's just a weird green colour. I don't think that's what I want. Um, I think I need to put some more white on here. I think whoever joined us left. Are you there in chat? Can't really see if you're chatting or anything, but it would be nice to have a little company. But I'm sure as as I do these, people will uh, chime in, come in and out, have a little uh, nosy, see what's going on. And that's cool, yeah. Oh, uh, let's see, get some yellow. Ah, my colour mixing is a bit slow. It takes me a while to kind of get what I'm after, really. And uh, I, I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if this colour's working. It's a bit experimental. <laughs> 
think it would be more greyish, so I'm just thinking of black in there. Yeah, it would be more greyish and yellowy. And I've got so many different little colours here that Will I ever get the colour? Stay tuned and find out. I think I may have found it. I do struggle to find that colour, find the colour I'm looking for. It takes me a while. That's just a weird colour. I don't know if that is the one I was looking for, but let's just plunk it down and reflect that kind of. I did want some kind of that colour, some of these waves kind of here, really, trying to get that transparency going on. It's not what I'm after. Just a bit. A bit too yellow. Just too much yellow. There's just no way it would be that yellow. But we'll add it in and uh, I guess we'll, you know what, we'll, we'll kind of swing. Shine along here, that need a little slot there. Things sheen across here. It just adds some colour, doesn't it? It just adds a bit of uh, a little bit of uh, golden light. Let's add a bit of the kind of rays coming out here as well. I don't like this colour it very very much. Sunset really just don't think that's quite how it looks, but not that brightness really. And I'll blend that in a, a bit better later. Let's get some white on there. So, right at the beginning. This is not usually the brush you would be using for this, but I've just got you know I just have to brush it hand and I want to put it on. And now it looks like there's a bit more of something going on here and let's just reflect that in the sea. Let's just add some thing here. Let's get that shine going. Step back a bit, have a look. Now you can see that. Oh, that looks that looks better. I like that better. At least this bit. I'm not sure about this, but don't uh, not to worry. I think that will look better. It's just just kind of like a a light blue. I think that will work better. That might work. That might be good. But it's kind of it's more delicate stuff like this. And then you start getting the challenges really. With the foam. Uh, I'm gonna reintroduce some more of that pink colour on the waves, I think. Um I kind of like that kind of not being so prominent there. I don't know if I want it that kind of have a little shot here. But not a lot. Uh, let's, let's move on from there. And I want to go back to my waves. Because this is the thing I wanted to adjust the most. I just want to change this water. It looked flat before and it looks a lot 
nice and now. Still not quite where I want it, but I think I'll add some more darker areas and some. I'm gonna get some more purple, pinky purpley bits. Kind of make it look transparent-ish. So let's have a look. Let's get the old. Uh, yeah, this brush. I like this one. I'm gonna go to this one here. Uh, I don't even know what you'd call it. Again, doesn't really matter, does it? It's whatever you like. I'm not the kind of person who's, you know, trying to be an educational person, you know, I'm not trying to show you the right or wrong. You could, there's plenty of people out there you can go watch and they'll tell you what brush to use, what it does, this, that, and the other. But to be honest, you just got to pick up a brush and try it out and you, you know, do whatever you want with whatever brush you've got, you know. Well, there are some, there are some like uh, exceptions to that rule. There are some basics that would be advantageous to know. I'd say that would be uh, kind of like knowing the difference. Like, like I want, I've still not got like a liner brush, which I think would be handy for these trees. And like a liner brush is like kind of like around right that size, really. You'd, but the uh, bristles are a lot longer. And uh, the reason why that's good is because it'll hold more paint. In uh, so, you, but with this, um, I, I'm constantly don't dipping it in, and when you've got oil, is you picking up the color that's underneath it. So, yeah, it's like you you kind of need a little bit more a um, little bit more length to hold. Oh shit! I wanted that. really want it there strong here. I want it to be very strong there. Like the, the point where it looks the most pink. Um, not too strong of course, but just to sort of hit you there really. That pinky reflection of the sky. And I don't know if it's I don't know if it's like how it would look really. Let's just do it anywhere. Yeah. It can be green, why not? Why not pink? Eh? And lighten it up here. I don't know if I like this colour of pink, it looks like. Uh, it's not the pink I like. It's pink, really. That's kind of what I'm going for, really. Lips. There's a, a nice, interesting uh, blurry of colours in there. Be nice to get the camera like to be closer in, and uh, you know I'll sort that out next time. I'll have a look at um, how it is really. But there's a lot more. Uh, does I suppose it isn't a bad angle, but uh, I don't really want to show myself on the camera as much as I do want to show the painting really. So yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna 
spend a bit more time on these videos. Because I enjoy it, you know, I just love... Love mixing them. Come on out here. Let's get some. Look at the dark. It is dark though, isn't it? It's already very, very dark at the bottom. I guess I just need to be introduced in here. No, that's too dark. I'm probably <laughs> ruining it and improving it and ruining it, but you just gotta try it stuff out really in the early days, so why not? Yeah, have fun with it. Have fun. Keep the devil out. Of it. Your wave, it can be a, however you want it to be. You know, my waves, they're gonna have a lot of pink on them. They're gonna be crashing down and more and more. Fierce waves. I'd like to think that's what Bob would say, something like that. Yeah, I'm one of those people who kind of only really knows about Bob Ross as a landscape painter because I'm probably, you know, I'm not on the level. I don't really know my shit, so. Oh, let's see what my blend is over here. Then. There they might be. And uh, it's looking a little more jaggedy. It's looking a little more. Uh, thingy but you know what I do quite like it though and I don't think I want to be spending the whole time on this stream messing with these words I'll just come back to them later and uh, probably like think about having the foamy parts to the waves think about that a little like the little in between bits they're really hard to do I find with oils, some people just can. I need some sort of technique to do that. So, if you've got a technique to do the little kind of foamy bits that you would see on a rising wave, I think if you, if you look at waves, Google waves, you'll kind of you mind what I'm talking about. And it's just like it's kind of like this effect here, and it's kind of got this thing, and I've kind of got it here, but it's very thick. Uh, the lines and stuff, and uh, when you come at a distance from where you, you're looking at it, it's probably going to look fine, but when I get up close, I can see the, the lines and things, and when you're kind of looking at waves this 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 kind of small on the painting, then uh, it's kind of hard to get those little details in. So, uh, yeah, if anybody's got any technique to, sh you know, to show me, then... That'd be cool. But for now I'm just kind of I'm gonna have, I'm just trying to figure it out on my own and if I figure it out, yeah, I'll let you know if there's an easy way. It'd probably depend on having certain brush. Right, okay, so what do I wanna do now? I did wanna go away from that. I wanna kind of maybe add some small highlights to those trees. And I'm just gonna add a little more kind of detail to these three tiki head things that I added in because they're looking a bit repugnant at the minute. And uh, 
I don't even know if I used the like. I don't even. I, I never say the word repugnant. I just thought it'd sound cool right now. It sounds like I know what I'm talking about, but really, I don't even know what that means exactly. I think. I remember my sister saying pugnacious, and that made me laugh. Pugnacious. That's what it's looking. smoker so you'll have to forgive me I, I do vape not that there's anyone watching anyway so I can vape all I want but I don't really do it because it's cool I do it because it's better than smoking and it's managed to get me off the six so that's cool uh, right yeah, let's get some highlights on those trees and thinking like a whitey, yellowy kind of colour. Uh, I'm kind of tired now though. I did do a workout earlier. Uh, I feel pretty tired, but I will try and uh, at least get these trees highlighted and some extra details on the teak here. I don't know if it'll be finished today, but. Mm, let's see what we're going on. Oh, that is a uh, little. Oh, we've got some nice um, thingy here. Some nice yellow orca. That's the one. Yellow orca, and it's a nice sort of paint that's. It kind of has that, 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 that tree colour to it, like yellow orca. It's like kind of the uh, the yellow that you would see in trees and that's too that's still too um that's way too white that's too much yellow orca that looks like it might be okay let's try it let's see how it looks it's very very yeah i, I quite like that it's kind of dramatic but you don't want much, you don't need much. And sorry if I'm obscuring the view, but I really need to get up close for the for these kind of highlights. I just don't want a big thick blob of highlight. Like uh, little bits here and there where the light is catching on the tree. I don't know if, uh, if, it was, if it would look better with these on, but we'll see. I don't need a lot. Even that's probably too much. But yeah, yeah probably a bit better. Oh, see what I mean? Like, you can go way too heavy too easily. This brush. And uh, I'll probably re go over it again with a darker colour and. Uh, kind of brush in that uh, actually we want we want something more significant on the trunk actually here yeah. where it's uh, maybe a few little markings here like that and uh, what was a few on this one I'm going to have to be even more fiddly you know it's going to be uh, fiddly on there, so I like to rest my hand on the thing to get it nice and steady. It's probably not orthodox, but I don't care. It's like a sniper at the minute, holding my breath. Trying to get it nice and precise. Because this is where things can go wrong. And to be honest, I should probably be using a bit less of a strong colour. But I think this one will be okay. I think on the next one, I'll uh, downgrade the sheen a little bit. Uh, so we're going a bit, a little bit lighter. Only a bit lighter. 
be whiter, wouldn't they? They're definitely a bit more grey, wouldn't they? Yeah, that looks good. That, that looks alright. That's just a little blue up there. Let's go with that. Let's try that then. Probably not the right colour, but I think there's a good clear thing up. Wet clear. And to be honest, the, the tree here is a little uh, wishy washy. It's not etched in that well. But That does look pretty good. Say a little more there. Maybe of this colour. Let's see. Maybe a bit more there. Maybe up there. And a little here as well. Just to vary up the colour a little, which is nice to, to do really. Yeah, it tends to be like when you uh when you have multiple colours. Um the colours kind of work to create details for your eyes and your eyes kind of get tripped by the colours and they kind of make your brain will just kind of connect it together to make details that you know like uh, I'm not even really painting on there but the kind of colours working together will kind of create the illusion of something and that's kind of what a lot of landscape painting is about really, it's about creating the illusion that something's there, it's not that you've really put much work into it. So that's why I like it, because I don't like, you know, I do animation and, uh, I've done animation in the past and uh, it's kind of like the complete opposite, it's just hard work and that's it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like it, but it can be, like anyone who does it will tell you it's painstaking at times, especially if you're doing frame by frame, but this is nice, this is uh, enjoyable and it should be, should be enjoyable. Probably wouldn't you probably wouldn't see that much colour in this thing, but I think that is actually dark enough that it would uh, you might get away with seeing that. No. It still kind of looks like a silhouette, but there's a little more, bit more pop on it. Probably a little too much on this one. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, that that looks that looks all right. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the trees now, like the uh, highlights on them and things. Pretty, uh, that's a pretty good step for me because trees have been really sucking for me. Like I've not been having a good time with trees. And to be honest, it's not so much trees, it's leaves. So I'm not going to put leaves on this because I'm kind of, yeah, I think it looks fine is, is the, tr the kind of trees they are. So I'm going to leave the trees as they are, I'm not going to put leaves on them. But Something I'm going to struggle with in other videos is, is leaves. So yeah, one thing I wanted to do was get some sort of details going on with these here. Oh boy, this is gonna... I'm not even sure what I'm doing really. It's kind of uh, the main subject in a way really. I guess uh, I kind of want some... I kind of want it to look more wooden really and... Uh, but we've got some burnt umber. Why are we not using that umber? Burnt umber is your wood go to, I guess. It's a good colour to mix in. And I want some of that white that I'm just going to mix in as well. A nice little orgy of colours right there. Nice. Let's see what happens when I stick this on. Thingy. 
really see that much detail on it. But screaming you can kind of see just with them highlights it's kind of brought it forward a little bit it's kind of brought the detail in So we've got kind of a bit more of a thing going. Probably a little too... Too much there. So I'm going to push it back a little with some dark. Darker. We need to go much darker than that. Sorry, I'm obscuring the view. It's kind of uh, I need to really look at it, you know. I kind of want it to have a bit of a pattern to it, you know, a bit of wood grain effect going on it. Too thingy, but yeah, that looks way better than it did. Some detail on it now. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, push back some of that little, add in a little more colour. Just have a swoosh, you know. Two thingy, you can always go in with some dark, just go in that dark and really push it back. Not too much though. No. That looks a lot better than it did. stuff quite lucky really because that's better than I could have planned I didn't think when I was painting it that I would end up getting it to look that good so I'm quite happy with myself and that's it it's just you surprise yourself really and I don't know if this is a good painting but I'm enjoying painting it so that's a good painting to me uh, so I'm going to add some sort of similar effect here, try and get this more defined. I don't really like the design as much on that, but yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? I think some yellow ochre is going to help us with this one. Need some more white. White to a to white. Here we are. Uh, some white on here. So there you go, tube of white. Yeah, you're probably going to need a bigger tube of white than you've got other tubes because you can burn through white and black. Well, black not so much because it's so strong, you know, you don't need a lot of it, but you're probably better off having it. <clears throat> For some reason. Oh, I'm tired. Okay, I don't know why I'm going so heavy on it. I don't think it is that colour at all, really. Oh, 
let's just give a call on there soon. Give a damn call on there. Before I lose my marbles. It's a bit more organic looking. I already like this call way more than the one that's on it. Although I don't know if it would show up this much. it back. I'm getting tired. It sucks. Well, I am going to uh, at least finish up. Doing this one. Probably leave that one at the back because it's kind of in the background. I don't really know what to do with it, let's be honest. And uh, I'll probably do that off cam. Because it's not going to be worth fighting around really. It wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't highlight there really. So I shouldn't highlight it there. So I'm going to push these back. Okay. Come on. Yeah, this can be a problem sometimes when you're. Uh, it's a lot more complicated of a shape and not really that well thought out, I have to say. I haven't really thought this shape out. I have to re kind of add what shape it is supposed to be. There's not much form to it really in there. It's getting hot. It's getting hot in here. I'm just going to open this. Sort of show there's a little something going on, you know. There's something. We don't really need, we wouldn't see this part here though, you know, unless there was a light coming from it. I suppose that's what kind of it looks like. It looks like there's a, a light coming from where I am into the painting and uh, I suppose I'll just go with that <laughs> because I don't know how else I'm going to add uh, detail to it. Obviously it's a very small light so it's, uh, it's just enough to allow us to see a little of what these things are and I'll leave that to you to figure it out. Let's add some highlighty looking uh... Actually I don't want that to be centered. Just Wrap it on. Sorry if I'm obscuring your view, if anybody's there.
when you mix black and yellow, it just looks putrid. I'm going to be honest, it is not a good thing. It never looks good, and that's what's going on on mine. I need to kind of minimise that. Get rid of that putridness. Looks like alien vomit or something, you know. And, uh, yeah, it's a little thingy. I don't really like the shape of this thing. I don't like the design of the tiki. But I'm going to put some detail on it anyway. I'm going to probably push this back a little, actually. Because uh, I don't like want to show it that much but I suppose it has some detail now I'll probably have a little stronger highlight on the edge to kind of make it pop out a little is now I think I'm gonna call it finished because you know that's as far as I want to go with this painting and I think it looks good I'll probably might change my mind tomorrow but I think this is this will do for this stream really I think I've done enough really so I'm pretty tired so I hope you enjoyed it whoever did watch it and uh, I'll see you next time Okay, um, I'm gonna end the stream. I don't know how. There we go. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.